Hello friends, welcome back to Infijan. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to find integer solutions. So let's get started by writing this is our equation one. This is our equation number two. Now we will take away first equation from second one. So two minus one, we will get x minus y plus root y minus square root x will be equal to 11 minus 7. Now we can write x as square root x whole square. y can be written as square root y whole square. Then we have root y minus root x. So we can take minus common from here. So I will write minus common root x minus root y RHS will be 4. Now we can use here difference of two squares formula and we will write root x plus root y times root x minus root y minus root x minus root y equal to 4. Now we will take root x minus root y common out. So in other bracket we need to write root x plus root y minus 1 equal to 4. This is our equation number 1. Now we will find factorization of 4. So I can write root x minus root y times root x plus root y minus 1 equal to 4. So if root x minus root y is 4 and our second bracket is 1, we are going to get product 4. If root x minus root y is 1, second bracket is 4, we will be getting product 4. If this is 2, and we will multiply with 2, we will be getting product 4. Now we can think about negative factors also. Negative 4 will multiply with negative 1. We are going to get product 4. Minus 1, minus 4, we will get product 4. Minus 2, minus 2, we will get product 4. Now I will calculate here the value of root x plus root y. How it is possible? This is equal to 4. Now here I am writing root x plus root y. So if I will add 1 to our second column plus 1, then we are going to get root x plus root y. So 1 plus 1, 2. 4 plus 1, 5. 2 plus 1, 3. Minus 1 plus 1. 0, minus 4 plus 1, minus 3, minus 2 plus 1, minus 1. Now this is the value of root x plus root y. So root x is always positive. Root y is always positive. So this quantity must be greater than 0. So we can reject these three bottom values. So negative factors will be rejected on this ground. So we have to target these three cases only. Now we have three systems. As you can see, root x minus root y 4, root x plus root y 2, system number 1. System number 2, root x minus root y 1, root x plus root y 5. System number 3, root x minus root y 2 and root x plus root y equal to 3. Let us solve. So I will write system number 1 root x minus root y equal to 4 with root x plus root y will be equal to 2. Now we will add these two equations. So we can write 2 root x equal to 6. After dividing by 2 both sides we will get root x equal to 3. After squaring both sides, we will get x equal to 9. Now we are going to plug in root x equal to 3 here. 
or we can plug in here also. So I can write root y will be equal to 2 minus root x. So we can write 2 minus root x is 3. We will be getting negative value. So once square root y is coming out negative, we are going to get complex solutions. Complex solutions. So our case 1 or system 1 is rejected. Now we will consider second system root x minus root y minus root y equal to 1 and root x plus root y this is equal to 5. We will add both the equations once again we are going to get 2 root x equal to 1 plus 5 6. We we'll divide by 2 both sides, root x will come out 3. Once we will square both sides, we are going to get x equal to 9. Now we are going to plug in root x value over here so that root y will come out 5 minus root x, which will be equal to 5 minus 3, value will be 2. So root y equal to 2. After squaring both sides, we are going to get y equal to 4. So if I will write x comma y, then we have to write here 9 comma 4. And this is accepted value, accepted ordered pair. Now we will consider system 3. So let me write here root x minus root y. This is equal to 2 and root x plus root y. This is equal to 2 plus 1, 3. Now we will add both the equations. So I can write 2 root x equal to 5. Let us divide both sides by 2. Root x will be equal to 5 over 2. Root x is non-integer value non-integer value. So immediately we can reject solving and finding root y or y because x is non-integer. So our final answer or final ordered pair would be x comma y equal to 9 comma 4. This is the only solution for our system. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.